Andy Robling, VP of Client Development for Hayes Canada, uh, based in Toronto. We started originally um, in the UK. Um, as a lot of businesses, it was a couple of people in a little office uh, in London, um, started as an accountancy recruitment firm, um, and now 50 years later, um, we are still a major leader in accountancy recruitment. Um, our other major specialisms are IT um, and construction properties. Within Canada, we have eight offices, um, ranging from Vancouver over to Montreal. We've been in the country for 16 years, and our business represents all of our main specialisms that we represent globally. So our biggest practice areas in Canada are accountancy, and finance, construction property, and IT. So my role as VP of Client Development is focused on three main areas. One is stewardship of our major accounts. So uh, as a board director, I, I have responsibility for making sure that our major accounts we're delivering to effectively. Um, we're delivering the service that our customers expect and we're getting the sort of return that we expect. Um, secondly, um, it's ownership of our sales methodology. So it's ensuring that everybody who's in a sales role um, is actually following the prescribed methodology uh, for our business here in Canada. Um, and lastly, I'm also involved with the development and of and leading sales for new products and services. In Canada, over the last few years, the, the surveys that we conduct um, always show that there is a shortage of key skills in a range of professions. So, so that's that's the single biggest challenge. Um, and you know, with with an aging workforce, with you know more baby boomers leaving, although people are working for longer, that that problems not going to go away. So that, that's the biggest issue for, for companies and in terms of how people deal with that. Um, the, the other issue is, uh, is how you retain people. So, so you, you've got a skill shortage, but a lot of companies um, will struggle to retain good people. We, we have a survey that came out recently, it's called the What People Want Guide, um, and uh, almost 90% of the people surveyed said that they would be interested in discussing another job if somebody approached them. Right, and that's just nine out of ten out of your workforce, which is is a pretty significant number. So you've got, on the one hand, you've got a skill shortage, and on the other hand, you've got uh, a workforce that, if somebody came knocking on the door, would be quite open to uh, quite open to moving. So, the, so the challenge there is how do you retain your best people? Um, and um, a lot of that has to do with culture. Um, a lot of it's got to do with career progression. So the the, the two main drivers that we see are candidates. Um, saying we'll either make them stay in a job or leave a job. It's not just salary, salary is important, but it's actually, can this organization give me an opportunity to develop my career? And is it the type of company that I don't work for? And it's, do I associate with its values? Um, do I associate with what it's trying to achieve? Um, so so uh, retaining your best people requires that you get that right. And then, the better companies are the ones who will use that to attract the best people.